This is my solar reflector. It's a sky dish with several few hundred mirrors glued onto the side of it, cut with a tile cutter. And it reflects all the sunlight onto this point here, where you can burn wood, you can light your cigarettes, you can distill water, and if you had a big enough solar reflector you could even use it to melt material, so it could be used for material processing. Its secret lies with this thing here, which is four light-dependent resistors which track the sun, and it's, if it's too much resistance this way, the thing moves this way, if there's too much resistance this way, it moves this way, and up and down. You get the idea. And it's all held into place by two bearings, and the central shaft is just a broom handle. The sky dish is bolted on here. Oh, and look at all of this. This is where I've been gluing on all of the um, all of the tiles, and it comes up with this very interesting uh, uh, silicon stuff that comes out of the back. And there's a stepper motor in here. He hasn't quite yet been wired in yet, but uh, we'll get there. And down here, here's the secret of the of the bottom motor, and you can see there's some ball bearings in there, a CD, a stepper motor, and this thing here is an Arduino, and he tells the stepper motor to move. So you've got the four wires. I've only got one stepper motor in just for testing at the moment to prove that it does work. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four just to make the step motor turn around. Um, here was a prototype board and I'm only really using I'm only really using these things at the moment which are ULN transistors and basically they're just motor drivers so that you can change the voltage to drive the motor around. And um, it's all supported on a separate shaft that goes along here and in here is the other stepper motor and I've built these little gearboxes just out of blocks of wood, nuts and bolts and washers and they do the trick quite nicely and then so it's counterbalanced I've put one of uh, Lexi's weights at the back here just to weigh it all and right at the back here you've just got two support frames just so that it holds up unfortunately I'm having to use this chair at the moment to hold it up because it keeps toppling but I want to build some um, support frames so I want to build a frame across here to sort of um, stabilise it because at the moment it just keeps falling over and here in Scotland it gets very very windy so I, I, I kind of want to do a bit more work on it but yeah that's basically uh, my solar reflector that I've been working on the last few months and I'm hoping that I can you know make a solar barbecue with it I mean you know this sort of thing has been done before but I don't know if anyone's ever made an automatic tracking one that well tell me what you think tell me what you think <laughs>